Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. I am Kino and we are in Kalapolis. Thank you very much for joining me. I know it has been a minute and I am oh, I'm buzzing to be back. I'm buzzing. Um, I haven't stopped playing. I just haven't had a chance to upload. Um, obviously personal things happen. These things get in the way of life sometimes and unfortunately I haven't been able to upload. But I am back. So I thought in this first episode that I can show you some of the builds that I have done here in Kalapolis. Rather than carry on the survival series, I can show you exactly what I've been up to. And boy, look at some of these builds. So these builds here are some of the most impressive builds I've ever done. And if you want to see these, just hang on, I'll show you around the base. And then I'll show you these in a little bit more detail because you are not going to want to miss these. That's for sure. So first of all, I'm just going to show you what I've done over here. And in all honesty, it's not a lot. I've got a, quite a lot of sort of quality of life upgrades. These quality of life upgrades include the way that my sorting office works, the, the item sorter. I've built a little bit over there but that's not finished so we won't show you that just yet. That's a, a little New York project I'm doing with my stepdaughter and over here I have built this giant pink and bamboo monstrosity. Not entirely sure how I feel about it. It was good fun to build but inside here it does house if I land properly it does house my bamboo farm and we've got the automatic bamboo farm there with the slime and the alleys are picking up all of the items so they're actually sort of working their way across as you can see when that grows and then that gets sorted into bamboo blocks so i will show you around there at some point uh, as you can also tell i have also got a mace i have got a fully enchanted mace because we did find a couple of trial chambers um, took me two trial chambers to find the mace, but one of them I've actually sorted out into a kind of trial chamber um, farm, if you like, and I'll show you that now. So out here, just this sort of crass little entrance here, but I have built a trial chamber farm. Now I've got to remember what side to drop down because otherwise we could die. I think it's this side. Yes, it was that side. <laughs> so, we have a cactus tree. I've never noticed that before in my entire life. How bizarre. How very bizarre. Anyway, uh, yeah, so this is the uh, trial chamber farm that I've done. So it's a trial chamber that I've fully lit up. And we can come here and farm any of the trials that we like. So if I show you one and what I mean, I haven't taken a potion. If I take an om ominous potion it's much easier but we can just stand here. All the trials eventually, so this one's cave spiders, we can just stand here and farm them and eventually it makes it nice and easy and out they come and now we're gonna get a key. Nice. I've got plenty of keys so then when I go to the other trial chambers um, I can pretty much open whatever I want now. I've got lots of keys. I've got lots of ominous potions. Um, and I think we've done the whole way around. So yeah, that's another one there, as you can see. Let's have a quick look what this is. This is going to be probably cave spiders again. Yeah, oh no big spiders this time. Let's see what we get this time. And it's time we get bread. Amazing. And I've done that all the way around this trial chamber. So this is my trial chamber farm. To be honest, I don't find them that hard, the trial chambers themselves. They're, they're good fun and they're nice. They're good to explore. And I've enjoyed them, but um, they, they need to freshen them up a little bit. That's all I will say. So we head back to the main base. Like I say, haven't really done anything too exciting. Got an XP farm, um, got a new slime farm, the new sniffers and things like that. But nothing too exciting other than that big pink monstrosity. So let's show you the stuff that you really want to see. And this is the stuff that I'm excited about. So we head into the Nether Portal. 
this brings us out in my never hub obviously we can move around safely in the never and if we scoot down this way obviously we know the way we're going to go this way head this way as if we're going to the end city and now there's a new turning just up here oh skeletons oh I don't know I missed him I thought that he was going to jump on board with me anyway so this is a new portal this is a new portal and we're going to go through this new portal and this is what I'm most excited about and we're going to come out in a little storeroom and when we come out of a little storeroom we're in like a cabin as you can see just up there we're actually in the base of a boat and this is a galley now this design I did gain inspiration online but the rest it's all my designs the captain's cabins all myself lots of this design I have improved on immensely now, as you can remember what I wanted to do I had a castle just over here I'll show you this castle this is where I left you last time and we built this amazing castle amazing castle well since then I have non-stop built all the way around it as you can see in the background we've got farmlands and in the foreground here we've got the castle yard but all the way down there we have got some of the most amazing builds that I've ever done we've got an entire dock area and an entire mine and it looks amazing it's fantastic let me show you it so let's go and get down here we'll get a little bit of sleep and I can show you around the mine areas so now we've got daylight I'm going to show you around I'm not going to go into it in great detail because I'm going to do some proper tours over the next coming weeks but as you can see that's the boat the boat I always wanted to have docked in a harbour and that's ready to go out to sea ready to go out to battle and it's being loaded up with those cranes there's the zombie that we were looking at just a minute ago and then you've got the little ship repair area there and then you've got lots and lots of storage of things getting ready to go back onto the ship up here we've got a woodworking area all the way around so we've got lots of little wood bits things making it look like people are, are doing woodwork and loading stuff up there's the cranes that are loading the ships up and then over here this is the bit that is the most impressive of all we've got a little ore area this is where we're working on a little bit of storage and then we've got a little mine shafts going down here don't know where that bad guy was uh, this area is here is like little cranes these are for all the cranes little storage area and then these here these are the cranes so they're the cranes lifting up this at the moment and there's a little walkway there but we're not going to go that way if we go back up there this is where we were at the top obviously we've got more storage of all the ores and things like that that have been dug up but this is what it's all about this is the mine now as you can see from here I've got lots of little mine carts moving around just to give it a bit of life that's supposed to be moving around but it's stopped because it wants to but we've got big sort of mine shafts there we've got lots of mine shafts so if we go down here we've got a little area that's going to take the uh, take all the ore out to the docks this is going to lead to a dock area and that's going to go down there down the bottom here we've got lots of little mines in there that sort of lead off and do bits and then we've got two or three this is where this is just where I'm based at the moment so that's why all this stuff's here but this won't be here forever um, but then we've got more little mines there that's just a, another little mine that's going down that's the dock area, the crane area that we spoke about just a moment. Lava buckets filling up. You can carry on. Lava buckets filling up. And we've got water buckets doing the same. That's the little staircase that takes us up to the top again. Now, all of these are my own design, all completely custom design. And then this here is another little mine that just goes goes all the way down to the depths. We've got lots of little sort of tunnels little train tunnels going around and then we've got more little train tunnels going around there <laughs> but these are the two bits I want to show you the first is this mine now this mine here is we've got a little crane at the top there as you can see I think that's pretty cool and that lowers down items like that 
And as you can see, all the way down there, this goes all the way down to the bottom. Now, I can use my elytra and just sort of try and drift all the way down here. And, and die, anyway. But, uh, yeah, so this is this is my deep slate mine. So this is why I'm so far down. And there's a little cart moving in and out. It's a little storage. That's, that's the way out, which brings us back up to there. I'll just show you where that goes. So that brings us back up to here. We can see. And that's my little deep slate mine. It just goes, gets all the stuff from the deep slate. I think that's amazing. I I love it, especially with this little detail I think here that's going up on the crane. I absolutely love it. I'll just try and get back up that, without killing ourselves. That didn't go too well. But this is the most amazing bit. Now, obviously, I, I like both of my cranes. I like both of my cranes, which are these ones and that one. But this area here lots and lots of woodwork lots of trains going across lots of wood support we're going into this area here this area we've got little foot bridges that go across because we've got all the mine carts running up and down as you can see the mine carts going around there's the little foot bridges these mine carts going to come out to here to be loaded up as we go just around the base of the mine you can see lots and lots of all deposits, lots of storage, lots and lots of woodwork, the most amount of woodwork and lots of moving mine carts. You know, and if we come up to this area, just up here, I've kind of you know, I've tried to put as much detail as possible. So this is another little mine cart that should be moving. Oh that's not moving, but you know, just give them a little bump start every now and then. There's another little mine cart on its way. And we go up here. You got more storage, more little mines. I spent a lot of time in here. This was going to be a, a small project um, that has ended up being an immense project. Absolutely immense. Down there, we've got a little footbridge, more little storage, this ladder that goes back down to the ground. You can go on this footbridge all the way across. And that train, that mine cart there, mine shaft there, was the big one. That was the big one. There's more little storage there. And this, that is my mine. That is my mine. And as you can see, it is absolutely immense. There's movement everywhere, lots of things. And even up in the lava, I put blackstone in there, just to kind of give the lava a bit of life. A bit of blackstone, a bit of... Uh, magma you know some coal in there you know, to give the lava a bit of life i really have worked this whole thing block by block and it's taken forever and this and along with the the main dock area we've got over there my god i can't think of the amount of time i put in but as you can see from the top left we've done seven thousand days and i think that's wrong i think that's just from when i started um console edition so prior to that we had legacy edition but yeah as you can see it is coming on amazingly this is how the area looked before and i think you'll agree the difference has been phenomenal got a tiny little bit more detail to do down there i want to put some grass blocks in there a um, bit more texturing on the floor and then up here I really want to make this area into sort of a lumber yard you know bring something in this area and a lumber yard up there but overall oh and I think a watchtower on here actually might be quite nice um, but overall this area is immense and I will do a proper walk around tour so anyways we head over to the other side of the castle oh yeah that is not all other side of the castle I have built this farm and we've got farmland there, we've got uh, wheat there, we've got this amazing sort of, I don't know what it's supposed to be, like a cherry orchard, apple orchard sort of thing. In this barn, I designed and built this barn, which I absolutely love, particularly as it's got the new wood. Um, a little, you know, a little storage area in there. You know what I'm like for my storage, I love just putting random items laying around on the floor. And I also designed and built those silos myself. And these are my own design. They want to look like farm silos. We brought the windmill over. We've got um, we've got this little barn area here as well. 
something which sort of covers up all the hay. And then this little barn, you know, we got hay in there, and then we've got sheep. Don't know what's supposed to be in there. We've got more sheep, and we've got a pig. I'm almost certain we had three pigs, so I don't know where they've gone. And I'm almost certain I had about 10 cows. Don't really know where they've all gone, but this little barn here, and we're gonna just plop ourselves outside, and then I definitely had more animals out here. Almost certain of it. But yeah, so this is my farm area. Um, going to put some more storage and stuff in here, going to put some carts out here, uh, possibly some animals and stuff like that and some plants and then we're going to have footpaths there and then maybe smaller vegetable patches, smaller vegetable patches here and the farm, there's the farmer's house and the farm is going to be massive. I have already mapped the footpath all the way around so that's going to be the path that goes out to this village and it is going to be huge. And I can't wait to show you the end product. And that is what we've done so far. There is only, in this area, which I am so, so proud of, there's only one more thing to show you that I've done. And blimey, did I spend a lot of time on this. And you will see why. Now, for those of you that have really been following what's going on, you'll know that out this way, I have got my gold farm, which is inside this cliff. And then I've got the mountain base just up there. Well, the gold farm annoyed me because I have to come here manually and put everything into the sorties, into the sorters and the smelters. So I've redesigned the gold farm and boy, did it take a long time. And I will show you why. And this is how the gold farm looked before. As you can see, we got the two obsidian portals, no decoration whatsoever. This is how we turn it off, kill chamber. And then we're down here having to sort everything out ourselves into the drops. I mean, it worked, so I can't grumble too much, but what a difference. This is the new gold farm. Now, rather than the two, we've now got four. Four sections of portals leading in there. We've made it look nice with the tuft. And then over here, I'm not going to go into full detail because I'm going to do a full tutorial on this over the next coming days. But over here, we've got the workings. This is where all the flint and steel and the water buckets set the portals on and off. As we head out, the place we actually need to go is just down here. And as we go down this entrance in this kind of cave thing that I've, I've kind of done we go down this entrance and round the back we're into our gold area these are all the shoots that all the gold comes up on that's where we smelt the swords this is how we turn it on and off and then down the bottom there is where they drop and die and we get our xp i'm just going to show you really quickly how it works because i am going to do a full tutorial on this and just to kind of give you an understanding on exactly how much work has gone into this. This is the workings around the back. This is just for the auto crafters. This is the workings around the back for the flints and steels. This is for the smelters. And this is probably only a third of the workings I've done. But I'll show you how it works quickly. We'll turn it on. As you can see, they now turn on and off, and straight away we get zombified piglins. We're going to drop down here into the kill chamber, and we'll turn this on. They're now one hit, so now the trident killer kills them. As you can see, all of the drops then go through here. If they're any good, they start shooting up there. As you can see from the gold nuggets, they started shooting up there into upstairs. Now, if I show you exactly the workings out. This is the workings for this. And as you can see, that is a lot. And then we're behind there, we've got even more because we've got auto sorters as well. Around here, we've got even more there. And then these are the auto sorters and such like. But let me show you exactly what is going on upstairs when we can get away from all this. 
So as we said, everything is shooting up those columns, which is great. They're all dying in there, which is wonderful. And if we want to, we can open this at any point. We can collect the XP. But we'll put that back on. I'll turn it off. I'll show you exactly what's going on. Let's turn this one off. So that's that off. And then these are where all the drops are coming up and they're all going into the system. As we can see the swords are going into here and they're being smelted through the blast furnaces. And they're going into there and being blasted off into gold nuggets. All of the nuggets are then being joined together, matching with the ingots. And the ingots are then turned into gold blocks. And here we are getting a substantial amount of gold blocks. I mean, they're still dropping down. We're still... Uh, we're still killing people, but this gold farm took me so long. As you can see by the amount of gold I've got laying around, it's, it has an immense drop rate. Absolutely phenomenal drop rate. But, I'm going to do a full tutorial on this tomorrow. So that'll do for now. So I'm not going to lie, this is the area that I'm most proud of and most impressed with. This mine has ended up absolutely out of this world. And I just can't stop walking around it. I keep coming down here and just having a little walk around. As I say, I've still got a few bits to do. But uh, I'm going to go over this in a little bit more detail with you guys over the next few weeks. I'm just glad to be back. And guys, please do hit that like and share button if you've seen anything that you'd be interested to have a look a bit more into. Drop it in the comments. Let me know. I'm happy to show you guys all around. Um, I can't wait to get back onto a proper schedule. And I can't wait to start interacting with you all. So guys, remember, build like no one's watching. And I'll catch up with you soon.